Hey everybody, uh, this is Taylor Moss from Everything Under the Sun, and today I'm going to show you guys uh, how to make uh, your Windows background be a rainbow slideshow. Uh, so, first thing we need to do um, is this uh, default Windows logo is just blue. They don't have any other uh, colors of it. So, uh, what we'll need to do is we'll need to edit it. I already have a Photoshop um, with the file in it, but if you don't, if you should just go to personalize and click desktop background make sure you're clicked on windows desktop background up here and you go down right here you can right click and open with photoshop so when you're open when you have that open with photoshop um, it'll look like this um, so what I've, I've already done this three times for time's sake but i'll show you guys how to do it one time and you can just apply it to the rest basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut out each of these uh, leaves so we'll have to cut out this blue one here because I don't have that done yet uh, you can zoom in and out by pressing control and then the plus and minus keys so if we zoom in on this um, next you're gonna wanna go over here click and hold and make sure you click the polygonal lasso tool um, in fact you might wanna try the magnetic lasso tool so click Magnetic lasso tool is pretty good. It just latches onto an edge, and when there's these edges that are pretty sharp, it works pretty well. You can also click manually while using the magnetic lasso tool to make a custom point, especially going through areas like this where there's little dots. You can see right there, it tried to go down a little bit. Alright, we're almost done. Okay, so now that we have our shape selected, uh, you just right click on in there and click layer via cut, and that will cut it. So now if you want, you can remove it and remove it. So the reason we did that is so that each of these was separate from the background image below. So now what you need to do is select the background image um, and press control plus U. And so what this will do is it will let you change the hue and saturation. You'll then want to click colorize and turn the saturation up to about 75. So from here what you can do is you can see this is a pretty nice red looking Windows 7 background. If you change the hue you see you can get an orange, a yellow, a green, a aquamarine I guess you could say, a teal, the default blue, a darker purple, a darker fuchsia almost, and then all the way back up to red. So what you can do, so say I like this red, you click that, you go to file, save as, uh, you can either use PNG or JPEG, uh, and then what you can do is just label it uh, like Windows 1 JPEG. Make sure you have the quality on maximum, and hit OK. Next, if you press Control Z, or Control Alt Z rather, it'll undo that previous change. Then you can click back on your layer and press Control U again. Make sure you check colorize, turn this to 75 like before, and now change it to the oranger of the two. So once you have that, click OK, go to File, Save As, and you're basically just going to repeat the same step over and over again all the way throughout the rainbow. Control Alt Z, Control Click, Control U, Colorize, 75. Now we're gonna make our yellow. Looks pretty good. File, save as Windows 3, JPEG. Alright, Control Alt Z. Um, I'll probably time lapse this video, so. Uh. 
All right, so now that we have all of our um, rainbow saved, you can control Alt Z and uh, close this. You can save it as a PSD if you'd like, or otherwise not. So now what you'll see here is that we have a Windows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way through eight, and it's a rainbow effect. So what we'll need to do is I have a folder just full of all of my stuff. So if we make a new folder by going right click new folder and just name this slideshow we can go in there and pull all of these pictures into that so now we have all of our pictures in there as a slideshow now what we need to do is right click on our desktop and go to personalize right here where it says desktop background click that and click browse now you'll be at your desktop or somewhere similar you can click desktop to go there if you're not then go up to where your folder is I have mine in slideshow click OK and you'll see here that you'll have all of them as an option then make sure they're on stretch or fill uh, then change your seconds to 30 and you can either shuffle or not shuffle depending on how you want your rainbow to look and now if you close everything down and wait every 10 seconds it'll change slightly in the rainbow so nice little thing I thought I'd show you guys a little bit on Photoshop and how you can do that looks pretty good anyways uh, if you guys have any more video suggestions just let me know in the comment section below uh, as always thanks Thank <laughs> you.